There we go. Okay, hey, very good. Well, Miko Hanen, everyone, welcome to Fallout 76, Season 13, Shoot for the Stars. It is uh, June 20th, 2023, and um, I've been looking forward to this, and this will help uh, immensely, I think, to pass the time until, um, you know, my now most anticipated film, um, uh, Starfield, comes out. September 6th. I, I absolutely must thank my dear friend Grumpy's Camp for bringing that to my attention. Uh, you know, uh, whenever this game was first announced, like some years back, a few years back even, I, I remember it. The, uh, I, I don't know what convention you call that, but uh, just was it called, um, was it called E3? I can't remember, but what, whatever the, the gaming convention was called, I think E3 it was. And, you know, there's like a bunch of gamers get together and there's a stage, you know what I'm talking about? And then Todd Howard would come up there and talk and they all talk about uh, the games. Uh, this is the Bethesda uh, part of the, the show on the E3. And he talked about, you know, they're, they're um, not quite done with, you know, Elder Scrolls 6. They're still working on it. And he announced that right now the thing that's um, the main thing on their list that they're working on was Starfield and everyone just seemed like oh okay you know and then they showed a little teaser to it and then we got some claps but a lot of people didn't seem super super excited uh, there was still some excitement but um, so I saw that I didn't really pay any never mind to that uh, but now years later after seeing thanks to Grumpy Scamp, that 45 minute uh, showcase of it that just happened like probably a couple weeks ago, something like that. I I'm now super excited. So for those folks who have to wait like years for it, for me, it's not so bad because, you know, I'm only waiting some months. <laughs> I guess it's um, much like uh, with Diablo 4 when that came out. And I have to say, you know, now that it's out, um, it, it's it's still okay it's still it's still fun it's still pretty good but uh it's just not um maybe maybe because for me the, the arpg format uh can get old pretty fast and since i've been playing you know d2r d3 even though not a whole lot but you know just here and there on uh, grim dawn and, and games like that uh, it's, it doesn't excite me as uh, it once did, not like when Diablo 2 uh, first came out, you know, in the early 2000s before the D2R. Uh, but something like this, whenever it comes to a solo single player RPG like a Skyrim or, you know, a Fallout 3, Fallout 4, Fallout New Vegas, I get super, super excited for that. And those are the ones that have great longevity with me and last for like years and years, like decades even, right? Like, not decades, I'll say like a decade or more. Let's say that. Um, but anyways, th this is the one that's going to keep me um, excited for a while. And I think I can get this scoreboard done, you know, hopefully before. Oh, this is right up my street, guys. I, I intended to uh, put out a, a video, things to do to prepare for Starfield. And it's like movie related stuff, like movies you can watch and games you can play uh, to hold you over. Uh, this is certainly one of them. But, you know, this is movie themed. And I thought that I would just very quickly uh, do, do the, uh, 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 the challenges, you know, to, to get that out of the way and start to work my way up the scoreboard. So that's what I'm I'm going to do. Yeah, this is movie related, you know, movie themed. I think the final item you get at level 100 on the scoreboard is a shelter and it is a um, a movie sound studio uh, shelter that you get. So I look forward to that. I had I have plans for that to make my theater not in this location. Maybe I'll show you, uh, you know, later. But let me show you what I'm talking about. This. Oh, end. Okay, you see that? 
Let's go ahead and inspect this. Okay, studio camera. Wait, what? Oh, that. Okay, here. Shoot for the stars bundle. Yeah, you see that? That's a wrap. Celebrate with this shoot for the stars bundle includes the soundstage shelter, shoot for the stars game board, shoot for the stars icon, 500 atoms. Yeah, look at that. This is what you get. It's very roomy. It has lights built in because this is a sound studio, a sound stage, you know, where you shoot films. And here's more of the interior of it. It has um, like a snake, a snake stairway well thing see quiet please filming in progress but I'm gonna turn it more into a movie theater you see with all the stuff we get so I'll try to recreate a movie theater in here somehow okay uh, let's just get right to it let's cut through the chase and see what the dailies are scrap junk to produce steel very easy collect death claw eggs okay okay kill death claw okay okay well I'm in this game and I'm sure every person went over here to Deathclaw Island and probably snatched the egg and killed the Deathclaw that's over here. But I'm going to go over here anyways just to see. Yeah, see, already there's someone here. And there's... Oh, hey! The death claw still lives. Okay, okay. Can I get the egg? No egg. No egg. Why send her egg? I, I really feel as if the Death Claw should have an egg on him already, but. That's too bad. Okay, so still have to get Death Claw Egg. And the best way to go about doing that is to server hop. I'll go to a solo thing. Oh, and um, I highly recommend checking out that Fallout First um, catch up where you, uh, I don't forget what you call it, but you. Uh, uh, it's like the catch-up thing to uh, to get caught up on the, the you know in case you missed past Fallout First uh, items you pay a thousand caps and you get previously offered Fallout First stuff in the past just in case you weren't around for that uh, one of which is the I forgot what you call it but it's a um, a survival tent variant uh, which is a a APC or I don't even know what it stands for but it's like a military thing and um, I will show you once I load in so you can see exactly what I'm talking about here okay okay it's called APC survival tent it's that and you know it's like the survival tent you to get with the first so like on the scoreboard of just the last season was the survival tent or you can just get the regular survival tent or you can choose to get this one and this is nice to use this kind comes with a, um, a scrap box I believe regular uh, a stash box and it comes with a tinkerer's bench so that's really nice you can quickly deconstruct or, or scrap items and and um, craft ammo and stuff if you run out so Absolutely, I'm getting that. Okay, so let us see if the egg is over there. I think I'm gonna have to kill this uh, death claw again. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. No egg. Why is there not an egg? Okay. No. Oh. Shit. It's just gonna take me back to my same one I created. If you leave too soon, if you leave, I should say, and then come back too soon, it's just gonna put you back in your that same private server you were on. Come back to that, and best thing to do is just go to the public game. Sometimes that suitcase over there can have a death claw egg. I wonder if I have a death claw egg already. If I could just um, drop it and then pick it up, or sell it and then buy one, because what exactly does it say here? Uh, collect that claw egg. So I just have to collect it. Nothing. Wait, egg. No egg. There's some, usually I think there's like an egg. Death claw egg, it's like over here. Okay, so let's, you know, just kind of forget about that. I shall continue. And this is what I'm talking about here. See, you can be this. This is a default tent. Or or you can have it be the Rip Daring tent, which comes with the ammo stash, or that APC, whatever that stands for. I know it's, of course, like a military thing, but... Okay, collect hollow tape. Sell glowing fungus soup to NPC vendor. Well, you know what? I believe I have that anyways, you know. I just kind of sold it and bought it back to reuse it. Glowing fungus soup. Okay, very good. Kill feral ghouls. And I know where the feral ghouls lurk. Over here. But I'm sure everyone has gone here to kill him all already, so. But just in case. I'll just keep trying for the death claw every so often until an egg spawns, you know. I just don't want to waste time just being fully concentrated on that one. I see it's working. Wait a minute. Are those scorch or are those? Oh, these are. No, those are not. But you know. What? Oh, I don't think I've ever heard that before. Um, ghouls are. I think over here. I could have 
just port it to the uh, to the white spring for free, but it's okay. I have a lot of caps. And let me check something just to make sure I can. I'll put travel agent. Okay, demolition expert. Okay, all that looks good. Okay, okay. Any food? Might spoil. have to be working. Um, for a ghoul. Yeah, it's good. What? What? Okay. And the weekly ones, you have more time, but Level up, take a picture of a Grafton monster. No, and it can be dead, dead or alive, you can take a picture of it. Okay, okay, it was, hold on, hemlock. Very hot. It's not super, super hot, but not that bad. I mean, it's a little better now that the air conditioner uh, came on. I have now my fan. I put it on high, so I'm not sweating so badly, but initially a little bit hot. Okay, okay. Let me... Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Oh, wait, did craft, or uh, scrap steel? Here we are. Let's do that. Okay. Okay, okay, good. And there's 
the first rank that I earned. So I'm in rank rank two now. Go ahead and uh, pump some iron. You know, these are just exceedingly simple. I mean, it, it doesn't take much effort. You just kind of look at it and you, you just do it. You just do what it says. And you can get these done in like maybe half an hour or less. It really depends on which ones they give you. Sometimes I've done it super, super quick, like 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, you know. Other times can take up to like, as I said, you know, 20, 30 minutes. But even say you don't do them all in one sitting, just do like a handful of them now. Go do other things, play the game, or just go watch, you know, something or cook, and then come back and then do some more. But, I mean, you can really just get them done pretty much in one sitting. Just make that the first thing you do before you actually start playing the game. Like, when you're going to go play the game, uh, do those first, and then you play. Some of them, if they look like they coincide with what you're going to do when playing, like kill whatever, maybe certain kind of creatures, then... And you know you're going to go to that area where those type of creatures reside. Then you can kind of uh, reserve that one for when, when you do that. When you go to that area. Nothing over here. Mm -hmm. I will sell. Welcome, citizen. I am authorized to trade supplies. My soup. Okay, I shall buy it back. Mm -hmm. now available. I better get away from that just in case I get flagged for the music, right? Okay, okay. Go per foot. Eat. Oh, yao kwai pastry. Oh, oh, okay. This wild blackberry. Okay, seems gonna spoil. Okay, okay. Uh, daily ops. Okay, okay. Um, I forgot how to open that. Is it like that? Okay. Huh. Nolan is doing a daily ops, eh? Okay, so really, I just have to collect a Deathclaw egg. I don't really have to do that if I don't want to. Uh, what are these? Okay, drink Nuka-Cola Quantum. Okay, simple. Um, these are the weekly ones now, right? Okay, what else? Okay, kill 30 cultists. Okay, I know where they, where they roam. Claim a workshop. Okay. 
can do that pretty simple. You know, one time, but this is like weekly ones, so I have a week to do these. I don't have to knock them all out today if I don't want to. What? Huh. Why'd I get points for just coming over here? I don't know. But that's okay. Oh, can't be used until enemies that have taken over the workshop are defeated. Shut this off. No, no. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. So the gulper foot, it ran out, huh? So, which is the, the one to claim the workshop? I don't see that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... Let's see now. Snallygaster, I know where those are. Sell pumpkin pie to an NPC vendor, okay. Okay, good. Crafting monster will be like over here. Hemlock holes, okay. There it is. How do I, uh, oh, toggles. That work? Here it is, okay.
Snelly gas, Snelly gas. Okay, typically they can be found. over here somewhere. Uh, it's like a, a meat packing plant. I'll look and get closer. But maybe the people already did it. Oh, hey, no one did it, so very good. I hit the ground, look at that. Plant a crop, so 25 of them, in a workshop camp. Oh, didn't I? I think I got some kind of, uh, was it on the scoreboard? Yes! Score booster. It's like I could use that, but I'm going to use that for tomorrow. Oh, concession sign. What? Oh, okay. There it is. go grab my pumpkin pie over here or at least a pumpkin and make a pumpkin pie I think I make pumpkin pies I better put my gun away I I don't know what it is I have this tendency to to just shoot off my gun I don't mean to. Yeah, I know pumpkin pie already. Days like these, I wonder what I'm even carving for. I can't take these pumpkins. I hope there's a ah, here we are pumpkin patch very nice
Wait, look at that, an egg. Let me try something here. I'm gonna sell that egg. Oh. So I need another pumpkin. I need two Mylurk eggs. Mm. Mylurk's lurk over here. I think this is where I can get the Mylurk eggs. So we're going to test this out. If I could sell an egg, sell an item, if it needs me to acquire an item, if I'm able to sell it to a vendor and then just buy it, does that count as acquiring it? Okay, actually, I think if I kill the Mylurk, they have eggs on them. Hopefully there's like eggs in some of these. There's no eggs. It's only meat. Okay. I think by the water, right? There are eggs. By the water. Okay. Okay, well, I forgot what to search for my like eggs. Oh, look at this. Serve and protect. Like a graphical error. Oh, hey. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Death claw egg. Sell it. And then buy it. Oh, it didn't count. Okay.
another place I could think of where I can possibly get a pumpkin pie. Because again, I could just buy it and then sell it. So hopefully in Nuka World, someone had sold a pumpkin pie and then left it there. I just, I bought mine back just in case, or when my brother comes on. pumpkin pie but we have yao guai meat but I need more of the uh, gulp of foot okay let me kill some cultists you're going to be over here. Yeah, I can't remember where the Mylark eggs are, but it's okay. I'll need to look that up again. Good. What? Oh, okay. Drop that. Three out of thirty cultists, okay. I will no Divine light. I live only for you. Ah, I live only for you, holy mock man.
I will live forever, I will live forever in the light. Of course. Twenty one out of thirty, okay. Time to go. Uh, more cultists can be found. Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna go through all of this, you know, save some maybe to record tomorrow just so I have something to record if I you know I'm gonna do it but I've, I've kind of slowed down on recording stuff mainly because I know I'm gonna probably be recording things a lot more crazy when Starfield comes out something was here? Or, okay, the corpse just exploded, right? Let me go ahead and pump some more iron, even though I think I have maybe 10 minutes left or so. Three minutes left, so yeah, shit. Pump some iron. I think this lasts like 20 or 30 minutes, something like that. But as you can see, the thing I'm really missing now is just getting the Deathclaw egg, then I will have the five out of five, get a thousand there then be one out of three for this one because this is a gold star one so I need to complete a whole six out of six every day three times in order to get 1,500 you see and here I just need my lurk eggs or just get lucky enough to find a vendor that has a pumpkin pie already buy it back and then sell it back and that will count but I have as I said a week to do that. So exceedingly easy, easy stuff. And I think maybe I'm done. I'm done. 
was at. Oh, it's just a shadow. So you see, look how quickly I was able to knock basically all of these out and just need an egg or complete daily ops. And then all this, look, I'm like almost done with that. And this one is like really simple. Level up three times. Plant a, oh here, plant a crop in a workshop in free cam mode. Simple. Okay, so I'm just gonna go into free cam mode. By the way, I put all that stuff on display here, see? That's what I did. What I'm gonna do is grab all of this crops. Right? I thought I had blackberries somewhere up here. Okay, okay, so now I'm gonna go into this. Okay, here's a build mode, but you have to go into free cam mode. So see, V for toggle camera down at the bottom. So you wanna to toggle camera. So now you are in free cam mode. So you see, I can see myself. This is me, you see? This is free cam mode. So you wanna do that, get into free cam mode, and then plant uh, food. Okay, here we are. 25 times was it? One. Did that work? I don't think it worked. Did that work? Okay, one. Two. Oops, three, four. Oh no, okay. Three. Four. Okay, see, now it exceeded the limit, so all you do is scrap, not store, but scrap. And then do it again. So it looks like I can do what? Four at a time? Yeah, four at a time. See? Scrap. One, two, three, four. And scrap. Scrap one, two, three, and four. Scrap. Scrap. You do this twenty four times, right? Or twenty five times. One, two, three, and four. Scrap. I don't know how many times I've been at it, how much more I have left to go, but I think I'm almost done. Two, three, there it is. See? 25 out of 25. A thousand points right there. See that? So now, you see that? I'm up to level five. You see? See how exceedingly simple this is? I'm up to here already. And that's going to be enough for now. Okay? So, hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And just look forward to, um, you know, for sure, Starfield Let's Play coming up in September. Um, I may even do a little bit of the Baldur's Gate, uh, uh, Baldur's Gate uh, 3. I might do some of that. Um, I know I, I made a uh, a, uh, a post about it running hot. It, it is like a normal thing. It's it's okay that it runs hot. Like, like right now I know this game is running. It jumps between, I mean honestly, like 54, sometimes going up to 70. But it fluctuates, averaging between like 
it's between 65 and 70, right? Sometimes 67, 68, something like that. It drops down to 65, and that's okay. Uh, something like Baldur's Gate has gone up to like, I think when I put it on low settings, somewhere in the 70s, between like maybe 70 and 80, sometimes going up to 75. And it's okay so long as it's not on like that for like really long extended periods of time, like eight, nine hours, or even like five hours, something like that. I play for anywhere between like an hour or two and not even every day but on the days that I play like I'll say at most maybe a couple hours but usually about like an hour hour and a half so I'll say like one to two hours like on the days that I do play and not even every day so um, I, I you know it's really not so bad and they say it's okay when the game is under load under load is like when it's running a game when you're playing a game not sitting idle but when playing a game about 80 even like 82 83 but mine doesn't really you know it's like 80 81 you know and as i said it's not always on 81 it, it fluctuates between like 81 for like maybe a, a few minutes and it will drop down to maybe 75 and that was when it was something like Baldur's Gate um Baldur's Gate 3 even um Hunter Call of the Wild i tested that and that was like I think I saw it go up to 77, something like that. 77, 78, you know? But then it will drop down sometimes to like 67 to 70, something like that. So it's not so bad. Um, and I could still do it. It's just with my OCD, I get really worried. And that's why I really care for my stuff. You know, it's basically. Um, I just, I really want to take care of my stuff. I always take care of my things so it doesn't wear out and, and get old or anything like that. And uh, it can last like a very long time. Uh, that's just how I, I do it. Um, I'd be wary about buying a used computer parts, especially video cards, because, you know, you have those, um, I, I don't know how, how much people do it now, but those uh, crypto, those crypto uh, currency farmers, right? Uh, they just leave their computers on all day, all night, for like a week or two, maybe even longer, and that wears down the video card. And then they'll sell the video card. People unknowingly, unquittingly, buys it, and it just, it doesn't have that long of a lifespan, especially after a, a cryptocurrency person uses it. So just be forewarned about that. My video card, I got that new, as a, um, I think, maybe it was two birthdays ago two birthdays ago uh, from my very dear friend uh, Alagar so a big shout out to him uh, so that is it and see you